What's going on guys, my name is JJ, or I can my channel say amongst my top 5 dark type Pokemon. In at number 5 we have Taranza. Taranza is a very bulky Pokemon, it's um, very good offensively and defensively. Although its speed stat is the lowest on it and special attack I think um, is the second lowest. All of, all of its other stats are pretty, pretty incredible. It's a rock dark type so it has got um, a quad weakness to find. It's also weak to water, bug, um, grass ground, steel and fairy, so it's got f a, quite a fair amount of weaknesses, but um, it's quite a bulky Pokemon like I said, so it can it can take a lot of hits. Um, it also has Mega Evolution, which if you want more stability with offensiveness or defensiveness, then um, Mega Tyranitar is very um, very good to have for your team. I put Tyranitar at number 5, and mainly on the list because of it's like a kind of like dinosaur Pokemon. Now, um, I've always liked the sort of concept of having a dinosaur type Pokemon in the game. I know it's not an actual type, but like a sort of design Pokemon. Now, I, if I'm correct, I don't think they actually in introduced any, uh, anything else apart from Tyranitar up until Kalos um, in X and Y. Um, a kind of dinosaur designed Pokemon. Um, there's Aureus or something, I don't know. I can't say the two in um, X and Y. But they introduced those two into, into that game. And I think Tyranitar up until then was the only one. Um, or one that really looked like an outs outstanding dinosaur. Um, and that's mainly why Tyranitar is on the list. In the number four, we have Zoroark or Zoroark. I don't know how to say it. I'm going with Zoroark. Now, um, Zoroark is a pure dark, so it's only weak to bug, fighting, and fairy. Um, it's got very good speed, special attack, and and physical attack, which is quite quite useful. However, it's defense and special defense. Um, and HP isn't the best, so um, defensively this Pokemon isn't very good, however its offensiveness is very good. It also has the ability Illusion, so um, it can um, catch your opponents out um, by surprise with its ability, so um, it can um, survive you a few turns and pull off some good hits. Um, Zorik is on there because I like I, I like its um, ability and I quite like the design of it, it's quite a cool design. Um, I don't know, it's just one of those Pokemon I guess I've kind of naturally liked. So um, I guess that's why I put Zoroark at number 4. At number 3 we have Umbreon. Umbreon, like I've said in my top 10, is a very good um, defensive Pokemon. How, although its um, um, offensiveness isn't the best, its defensiveness definitely makes up for that. It's a pure dark type, so again its weaknesses is very fighting and bug. Um, I put it a third because um, I guess with the other two I just kind of just... I naturally like them all. With Umbreon, I, I, it's one of those Pokemon that I naturally like. I guess all the Pokemon that are ever on these lists I naturally like. It's not for one particular reason or, or it's just done something good for me in a match. It, I guess it's just naturally liked. So um, the Pokemon above Umbreon is just I've naturally liked more. Um, to put it as simple as that. But Umbreon is a very good Pokemon. Um, I do really like its um its shiny form. Its shiny form is um it replaces yellow uh, with a uh, blue. It just looks really really good. Um, so uh, Umbreon is number three. Number two is Drapion. Drapion is a Pokemon I absolutely love. Um, it's a Poison Dark. So its only weakness is Ground. Um, it's a very. It's, although you might, when you have a look on the screen now, it's got a load of sort of um, yellow base stats, but um, the, they're all fairly decent. Um, it's a very good physical attacker. I like using um, having the ability Sniper on it. And then you have in the, I think it's the scope lens, and they're using Night Slash and Cross Poison because they have high critical hit ratio. So um, you can be landing critical hits quite easy, and they'll be more effective with the ability sniper on Drapion. So um, I really like, I really like that with Drapion. I don't know. Again, like I said with Umbreon, it's one of those Pokemon I just naturally like. Well, like all of them, and I just kind of naturally like Drapion a lot more. Um, I don't know. When I first saw it, I just looked for what a cool Pokemon. I've used it a few times, and I definitely enjoy using it. So Drapion is number two. Number one is Darkrai. Now I literally love Darkrai. Um, its ability Bad Dreams, if I remember correctly, is um, when a Pokemon is asleep, opposing Pokemon, it will slowly take away um, its HP. So um, have and then if you have the uh, move Hypnosis on Darkrai, that's always handy. Um, Darkrai is a pure, um, pure Dark type, so it's weak to Bug, Fighting, and Fairy. Um, it has got a fair amount of weaknesses, like I just listed there, but its stats definitely make up for it. It's got a very good speed stat to definitely put the Pokemon to a sleep straight away, and they're using Dream Eater, and then with his ability, we'll take out a Pokemon in no time. Uh, Darkrai is by far my favourite Dark type Pokemon. I love the way it looks, I love its moves, I love its ability, and how it just works. Although it is a legendary, and I shouldn't really include legendaries on, the, on these lists, um, Darkrai is by far one of my favourite Pokemon of all time, so I just had to include it in this list. 
thank you for watching everyone please let me know what um top five you'd like to see next week um i'm always willing to take offers um i have got the list already wrote down but if anyone wants to see a certain type done for next week please leave a comment below and i'll most likely do it thank you very much for watching if you've enjoyed today's video please leave a like and i'll see you next time for another pokemon video goodbye